Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've just got a couple of little random projects that I'm going to be making. Um, I have our Into Resin Hippo mold, the original. And then I also have one of my little Sakura dishes here. So we're going to pour the uh, Hippo just in clear. Now, again, this is six ounces of my Fooey Tim 1 to 1. I have run it through my uh, Resiner's Airless, so it is nice and clear. And I'm going to try my hardest <laughs> to not get any bubbles in it, because I do want sort of a crystal hippo. Um, so I've got my stick. I'm going to pour this in gently. Nope. Of course, there are one or two little micro bubbles. That's fine. I just don't want any, you know, big, huge. Big, huge. Isn't it exciting watching a cup? Boy, oh boy. All right. So now that that's in, I'm going to set him off to the side here. And he only takes um, two ounces. So we might be making more than multiple projects today. We might be making a whole bunch of multiple projects. So in our secure dish, I have uh, two colors that I want to use. I have my About Alcohol inks in orange red and reddish brown. Shake, shake, shake. And what I'm going to do in this is I have decided that I don't want it totally covered in color. So we have five petals here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a drop of ink right here. Right above each petal. So I want it subtle. I want it, you know, Frankly, I don't know what I want these days. Anyway, um, so now that we've got that done, just with those four, or excuse me, five drops, I'm going to go in to the middle here and just start pouring in the middle and let that resin just take over. The ink. See what it's doing there? How it's just sort of swirling around. Tap for bubbles. I do see a couple of naked spots in there. And now that we've done that, I'm going to take the reddish brown and just put one drop in the middle. And then keep pouring as close to the middle as I can get. until we get our mold filled up. All right. I do see a couple of little bubbles in there, so I'm just going to very gently try to squeeze those out up over the border. And it's pretty easy to see the bubbles if there are any in there because it is, you know, obviously a translucent mold. So 
Um, there's that. Now we have three ounces of resin left. We're going to get our leaf mold that we just made. Because it's pretty and I like it. Indeed. So, with this guy. Okay. With this guy, what I'm going to do. Let's just pour some clear. And get that in there. Just down the middle. Just to sort of give it something to moisten up. Take my red copper. Give it a couple of drops. Yellow, give it some drops around the sides, and then with the green, just kind of fill in the blanks. that our colors are in, I'm going to go in with the rest of the clear. And just go kind of circular. And fill in our leaf. And if you're thinking, hey, neat leaf mold, Rev, thanks. Made it. I will link that video for you to peruse at your leisure. So that's done. Now, since the two out of three of these molds are handmade, one by me, one by the lovely and talented artists at Into Resin, um, I am not going to be spraying these with alcohol. I am not going to be torching them because I don't want to ruin them. And heat and alcohol tend to degrade molds very quickly. Um, heat has a propensity to ruin molds. Um, there are some folks out there say, oh, well, it's safe to use a long neck lighter. Okay, you go ahead. I'm not going to. I prefer not to because I don't want to risk that. I spent a lot of time making this mold and the interesting folks spent a lot of time making this mold and I don't want to ruin them. So, at any rate, we're going to have our little projects here. We're going to let them cure. Uh, I'm not going to turn on the heat mat or anything. I'm just going to let them do their thing, give them their time. I am the epitome of patience <laughs> with these three projects. So, anyway, I will see you guys when it is time for next steps. So, See you soon. Okay, so as you can see by the patterns that are forming in our uh, projects, I'm not touching these. I'm not swirling, I'm not poking, I'm not doing anything. But what I am going to do is in our hippo, I'm going to add some 
minor embellishment. So in this squeezy bottle, I have some of my uh, homemade feta bow sparkle sauce, which is basically just DIY rainbow alcohol ink that I made by uh, combining some uh, Glimmer Ghost powder in various colors, red, green, blue, gold, purple, and 99% alcohol. Very easy to make, it's very cheap, and you don't have to worry about not being able to find the commercial brand. So, I have put a needle tip on the top of it. Normally I just keep it in this uh, with the little doodah over it so the alcohol doesn't evaporate. And what I'm going to do is in our hippo, now that it's had some time to thicken up a little bit, I'm going to basically <laughs> inject um, the rainbow alcohol ink into it. So, not all over, not a whole big huge amount, but I'm just going to stick the needle point down into the resin and squeeze a little bit and then take it out. And what that'll do is it'll inject it, obviously, into the resin from the middle. And these little drippy bits are just because, you know, the bottle drips because it's alcohol. And uh, alcohol is uh, wet. <laughs> so, let's give that a bit of a clean up. Dab, dab, dab with a little paper towel. There you go. So now I can take the needle off of the bottle, put the cap back on, and it's my little needle tip is ready to go for the next time. And all I have to do to clean it is uh, use more alcohol. <laughs> so what I do basically is uh, just spray, spray, spray. Get a pokey tool of choice. And just go around and make sure that there's nothing in there. dump out the alcohol onto a paper towel. And that way, it's all clean and ready to go. I cleaned the outside of the needle with uh, alcohol as well to make sure that there's no resin stuck on it. So there you go. I will see you guys soon. All right, so the last step uh, before I demold everything, because uh, everything's almost completely cured, is on this guy, I'm going to go over the back of it with some of my caramel uh, UV resin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want a little bit more of a solid yellow color. But I don't want yellow, you know, I want sort of a, a well, a caramel. <laughs> Work with me, folks. Cheap entertainment. <laughs> right?
free stuff. Free entertainment. Subscribing is free. Why not? That way uh, you get notifications as to when I'm making stuff. Or, if you want to, you can become a member. And that way you get to see cool stuff before everybody else. Got one membership tier. It's very reasonable. And plus it supports me because I pay for all this stuff by, you know, myself. You know, speaking of which, if you want to, uh, there are links to my Amazon wish list uh, where I have um, some stuff uh, that I use on a frequent basis that uh, I go through a lot of and, you know, help would be appreciated, not necessary just because being here is enough for me. But just in case you want to, you know, do something, that'd be awesome. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cure this for a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. And it's time to demold. <clears throat> Pardon me. So let's do it, shall we? What do we want to do first? Let's do the hippo first. Let's do the hippo first. Our little hippo friend, our hippo buddy, our slightly sparkly, subtly blingy <laughs> crystal hippopotamus. Oof. Trying to be very careful because I don't, I still, you know, I'm still in that, I don't want to snap off his ears. Kind of thing, even though this thing's rock solid at this point. Whoop. There he is. Look at him. Some of the sparkle sauce is in his little thigh. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Hello. That really, really, really turned out well. Minimal, minimal bubbles. And I think that's not even a bubble. I think that's actually a piece of the glitter that got stuck. Isn't he beautiful? Do some trim around his little toes. Very cool. Curtain rolled off to the side. Let's do our leaf next. Give you some sounds here. Oh, not many sounds, but. There we go. And there's our leaf. Didn't that turn out cool? Looks like watercolors. <gasps> I'm in love. I'm in love. What a beautiful watercolor effect. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful watercolor effect. And just very subtle hints of that red copper. Oh, man, that is just gorgeous. And I like that very subtly in the bottom is the veining, the leaf veining. That's really cool. 
And I don't know if you've noticed, but if I hit the light just right, you can kind of see, here it is, you can see it, where the original says thankful. So it's like subliminal messaging. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with this effect. It's, oh, I'm in love. I, I'm in love. Yay. All right. And last but not least, the project that I have come to lovingly refer to as the Eye of Sakuran. You'll understand why in a minute. Let's get a little chink in the armor here. There we go. Good Lord, we are having some power surges this morning. Gracious sakes. You can see all oh, the watercolor effect again. My gosh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, that is just awesome. Look at that! But do you see now why I'm calling it the Eye of Sakuran? <laughs> Who shall not pass? That, oh man, I'm going to do this again. That is just awesome. And these aren't bubbles, what you're seeing here. These are actually the little um, raised stamens uh, in the mold. God, man, that's pretty. I almost want to edge it in gold like I did the other ones, but man, that is just Wow. So, here we have it. We have the Crystal Hippo, we have the Eye of Sakuran, and we have the Watercolor Leaf. How to make three separate things out of one cup of resin. <laughs> oh, look, he sits up. Thank you, guys. See you again for the next one. Take care. Cheers.